Okay, so I just want to share with you uh, the motion potion that I mentioned that used to be, it's MMS w when it has the acid, it turns into CDS when it doesn't have the acid. And this is something that a, a, a world-known scientist, Andreas Cal Kalker, he's got videos, okay? <laughs> Okay, he's got videos, and somehow my I lost the copy of my video here, but if you go to bit.ly forward slash MMS to CDC, CDS, you're going to see his video. I could show it to you here, but this is really just an intro film. Just to show you what my knowledge bank is about, introducing you to things that I'm also recently exploring, such as making wine. And then we're going to go in for the dive. Okay, so I'm going to continue with the tour of what I am doing. Okay, so what do I have here? I have gravel that I purchased from the store, and I had to clean them. So I poked holes at the bottom of this bucket. I, I did dare to use a Lowe's bucket, even though it's not food great. But that's not where I'm going to purify my water. So as you can see that I did poke holes around here. There are holes all over the bucket. I poured water several times and washed it out. Okay. Um, I'll give you the details or the link below as to where you could buy this and what the bag looks like. Over here, if anybody wants to do... Um, uh, grow some herbs without dirt, okay? I have this is made out of a coconut shell and it's it's when you go online it costs a, a million bucks it's too expensive so I found it at the dollar store and I grabbed a few of them although I'm not really going to be getting into hydroponics okay I'm going to be using dirt when I do talk about planting here I have activated uh, activated charcoal which is going to be part two of the water pur purification and then as you can see I cleaned out these rocks as well. Then I'm going to put in it, I'm going to put in it, uh, some sand. Okay. Washed sand. So those are going to be the products I'm going to use. This over here is just a throw in. I just added this cause it happens to be here. I figured I'm not going to get this at this price. So if I want to grow herbs without dirt, I'll at least have this. And I got a whole bunch of things that's going to complement that as well. Uh, so we have a lot of things to cover. Okay, so I want to show you that I have been prepping. Okay, you see all these buckets? Okay. I got buckets galore. Here are more buckets. I have the lids in bags. So I wash these very carefully and it's a lot of washing. Okay, so you see I'm starting to keep these because I'm going to fill these up with food to be inside the house. Well, I'm going to have buckets in a barrel, a metal barrel. That I would like to bury in the ground or at least I'm going to store it outside. And I'm preparing all that. I'm going to share that with you as, as well. As you can see, my prepping has begun. The top shelf just has empty containers because I'm going to be filling them with, um, with grains that are already in these buckets. These are already packed buckets. These are not the empty ones that I showed you earlier. Um... But I have to keep some stuff in the house. Everything's not going to be outside or in a bucket or in a barrel, right? So I'm going to keep some stuff in the house. So let's say put rice here, put this kind of flour here, another kind of flour there, etc. inside the house so I could use them, right? You see all the sugar that I got here? Plus I showed you how I bought white sugar, but that's for fermentation purposes only. And all these bottles, I decided to start collecting them. And because I'm basically repackaging a lot of stuff because I'm buying in bulk, okay? So as you can see, the, it's, it, it's a lot of work to clean all these buckets because I get them from stores. They call me and they tell me, Felice, come get them. And they're full of grease. They're full of, you know, icing. So let me let me see if these boxes say... Um, let me see. Let me, let me hide my... Okay, so hide my, hide my address, right? So this is stuff that I have bought. It has my last name there. Same over there. 
And I have five boxes that I have to package. And I may have to repackage other stuff that was bought in bulk. I've done this about three or four times already. Okay. Um, I have another room full of stuff. So this is not it. So as you can see, this hydrated line, the keyword here is hydrated. I watched YouTube and they told me to use a line that you could use it for soil and all that. But they didn't tell me hydrated. So I used the wrong lime powder, which is used for construction. Actually, it worked. The eggs didn't go bad. So it was an experiment. Um, unfortunately, it was for someone else. But I told him I used the wrong one. And it came cheap. I didn't, I didn't charge him for labor or anything. But he kept it because he's been busy and the eggs don't smell. But the second bucket, he drained it out and the eggs smell like rotten eggs, of course, right? Um, right outside his house. He hasn't moved it. Um, so I'm not feeling guilty because I disclosed to him. He knew I was a beginner. But hydrated lime is the key word. The people, everybody who, who shared this, none of them pointed that out. So I'm going to try to... Uh, share with you my mistakes so you don't have to do them yourself. These buckets, again, you could collect them from your local supermarket store. They'll start to grow on you. It took a while to grow a relationship with them. Um, one of them um, cleans them decently. I still clean them on top of that a few times over. All right. But um, some of them, they want to give you, give them to you all greased up, full of icing, and it's really hard to remove. I don't want to attract... Um, um, mice to my house or my neighborhood. So it's almost, I don't have a commercial, um, sink like they do. And they're supposed to actually wash it before even throw it in the garbage. That's how bad it is, but they don't want to do it for me. So it's okay. I found another store that is helping me. Okay. So here's everything packed up. If I thought I was done with a whole lot of, uh, other stuff, I'm not, I'm just getting started over here. I decided to start using a vacuum pack machine, which I used, but I had a hand pump um, in my earlier days when I started to package initially. Oh, okay. I'm supposed to pause this. Enough. So again, this is, it's still in the box. I did use another vacuum sealer that was electric. And then I used a hand pump with the, um, uh, all the gadgets that I'm going to show you, I use bay leaves, I use Dimitri's, I call it Dimitri's powder. I've known about that powder for pff, longer than most people on YouTube, um, which has a lot of health benefits, but it's also good. It's used to preserve food as well. So he, here's the box straight from one of the major stores online. I'm not going to mention any stores. And um, of course, I will give you links actually, because I think I, I, I want it to be helpful. But uh, I'm just getting started, so don't mind me, uh, the imperfections of this film. Uh, this is just an intro of things that I, I have been doing, okay? Um, just a little bit about me again. For over 30 years, I've been into holistic healings, and it's helped me a lot. But of course, sometimes I do fall by the wayside. I'm human. And um, I stopped doing my, my herbs, and that's where I have big regrets in my life. Okay, so I, I, I ordered bags for the vacuum pack okay just to throw some things in here and there i ordered this headlight because it's supposed to be uh really good in case it's an emergency there's no light out there it has the blinking red light and all and i got it from a major store online um i will start putting uh links if if you want me to i will definitely uh put them in if i should forget i will be reading messages Okay, so here's where I put my practice uh, to work. I used a hydride. I don't know why this is not coming clear. Now it's better. I used a hydride it because I'm moving. Okay, I used a hydride it, hydrate it, lime powder. It's one one tablespoon uh, per bucket. But don't quote me on that. I'm going to be reviewing everything with more details. So you can see I have vinegar next to it because I use vinegar a lot for a cleaning solution made of lemon peel and orange peel. I'm going to be sharing that with you. So these eggs have been in here for at least a month and I got them dated. Okay, so that way I'll use the oldest one first. These should be good for a year as long as I keep them in a dark, cool place. 
and this is a dark cool place this this room of mine i'm uh hoping to be able to work on my uh convert my basement into a root cellar because it's got the perfect components uh, i just need to do a little bit of uh excavating etc okay okay you ever see one of these okay so this looks like something grandma used to use or great grandma depending what generation i'm talking to to um put a hot water bag on them but this one does not have a a a lid so one can do that it'll spill this is open on the top but i love this gadget regardless because i discovered that it has a bidet so i hold it up on high creates pressure and i quit using guess what i quit using paper toilet that's it i'm practicing what i'm going to be doing in the future what's more economical and what's healthier and less disgusting believe it or not paper toilet is disgusting it spreads the stuff if you know what i mean this over here when the stuff is out you put a little water pressure it knocks it out put some soap on your hand it's your body right and cleanse yourself okay that's the way to do it that's the way to do it if you want to prep regarding water uh bathing and all that stuff you could start off with and don't think this is gross, okay? It's not. It's not. Okay, so you see this back, back washer? This helps you. It's from the dollar store. You could take a washcloth, soak it in soap. You don't have to spend a lot of money because it's going to be soaked in water and soap. Put it up against uh, the back washer. Scrub your back. Wash yourself. You don't have to waste gallons of water to shower all the time. So, have you ever seen this? Okay, let me introduce you to it. It's something you've walked by in the store many times. Laundry balls. I've been using these since about 2017 or 2016. They have beads in them made of ceramic, clay, etc. All I know is that it works. I put some stinky stuff in the wash. It comes out smelling like nothing. Nope. You don't need all that deodorant, all the perfumes when you wash clothes. Why? That's just to cover up the stinkiness of the chemicals that they put in, the lye and all whatever it is that they use, which go penetrates your skin and makes you sick. Okay? So I'm not able to focus so well. I don't know why I'm hurting. Okay? Here, I got a pasta maker. I'm going to bombard you with a few things. It's an intro of who I am, what we're going to do. I decided I'm going to buy from the farmer's market tons and tons of tomatoes and I'm going to strain them because the seeds of the tomato is not good for you. That's what gives you appendix, gives you a whole bunch of other illnesses. So this separates it, the peel and the seeds from the actual sauce, which I'm going to be canning. Okay? So I got a lot of things in mind, my friends. So this is one of my shelves that I'm keeping food in here and stuff that's good for you. Okay. Beef gel in powder. That way you don't have to buy broth. I got goodies in here. This is my goodie bag because I'm already picking on this. <laughs> you know, I got tons of cornbread here, oatmeal. So these are things. This is not bulk stuff. This is stuff that I picked up from the store. So I got chocolate and sugar here and coffees and you name it, paper towels. And uh, these are my protein drinks, which is the best. We're going to talk about that. I'll release all the details then. And in here, I have some fermenting stuff. Okay. And I have it named um, for sprouting. Okay. And uh, healthy cereal all over. I mean, I just have a lot of things and it's great actually having a pantry with a lot of things because that means I don't have to rush to the store when I run out of something. Okay. I could restock immediately. Go to my stock room. So by the way, this, this room is, is, is just, it's gotta be worked on. Okay. But this is, I'm just sharing the knowledge and the things we're going to be talking about. Okay. So over here, I'm storing, uh, some wheat berries and cherries. Okay. I want to tell you about mistakes that I did. And possible not mistakes. 
I have celery seeds here for sprouting. Uh, I repackaged it. I, 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 I got some mulch juice that I could actually make wine out of, I just learned. Um, I got kerosene. I got mineral oil for lighting. I have plenty of um, vinegar bottles. So you got to start stocking up, guys. I have lots of both empty bottles and bottles filled with olive oil. All right. Uh, let's see what else I got. I got things to test myself to see if I have something to test my blood for a few things. I've been doing this for years. This is, that has nothing to do with <laughs> my prepping. Uh, vitamins. See, I've always got vitamins. Um, MCT oil. This is not my favorite brand, but MCT oil takes the place of milk for... I've been doing that for about three years. Lots of vitamins. I've always, always stocked up on vitamins. Okay, when there's a sale, I stock up. This is nothing. <laughs> this is absolutely nothing in comparison to what I've done. I'm going to be canning my own tomato sauce, but if you go to Aldi's, this is a really delicious sauce. I'm really, really picky. Trying to let it focus there. Okay. I even got ramen noodles up there that I'm saving. And I got green powder and red powders. I don't eat ramen noodles, but it's better than nothing when you're starting, right? So I got quick breads up here. This is stuff that I've picked up from the store. Not the wholesale stuff that you saw in the other room. You know, baking goods. You know, this is when I really started. I only started with local store bought items. But it doesn't hurt, right? I love lemon cream. I love stuff uh, packed with um, with lemon. Um, so I got this, even though I'm not into cans. But you know what? Sometimes you got to treat yourself. We're all going to die someday, right? So, all right. So what else do I have? I got tons of jars of mason jars that I bought. I really need more. I bought a big bag of rice. Most people got, that's all they have. Big bag of rice, big ba bag of beans, which is better than nothing. Okay. See these bins here? They're already stacked up with food. Um, properly packaged in Maylar bags and absorbers, uh, which I'm going to be revisiting. I, I, I'd rather not bulk it. I'd rather do a bin with a variety of stuff so I could go bin by bin instead of having to open every bin for one item each. And I started to plant, um, I don't have a green thumb, but at least I dabbled with it. I, I actually successfully grew a potato plant, but we're going to go over that. Okay. So here are more mason jars. I haven't bought myself something, a harmonica, because I figured maybe we won't have TV. I'm stocking up on DVDs and movies, which I've always had anyway. Um, my vitamins, believe it or not, those are all vitamins. Whenever you think you're getting sick and you have stuff, the vitamins don't really go bad the way they say with the expiration dates, okay? So, that's it for now, folks. Get ready to rumble, because not only do I know all this, but I will be learning more. Remember, I'm even storing eggs. I am storing eggs in water, okay? In water, not refrigerated. Real eggs, okay? Talk to you soon.